Hello everyone. Today's tutorial is how to demote your domain controller, also referred to as Active Directory. If you wish to view our other tutorials in high resolution at 640x480, please visit us at www.nichii.com tutorials. You will see a link at the end of this tutorial. Let's go ahead and begin. First you'll want to open the Manage Your Server window and from here you want to click on add or remove a role. This will open another window then click on next. From here you'll want to select domain controller or active directory. Then click on the next button. Here you'll want to remove the domain controller role because we are wishing to demote domain controller so to click on next. Then you'll have another wizard, click on next or hit enter. Then a message will come up. This domain controller is a global catalog server. This message comes up if you're using DNS on this server or if this server has been listed as a global. So go ahead and click on OK. Then click on this server is the last domain controller in the domain. Because we are demoting the domain, if it's in fact not the last one, you'll leave this unchecked and click next. Now here it will show you this domain controller holds the last replica of the following application directory partitions. This will have your domain name listed. We've blurted out for the purpose of this video. Then click on next. Here you'll want to click on delete all application directory partitions on this domain controller. This just means you're deleting all the data that's pertaining to Active Directory. It's okay if it's your last domain controller. So go ahead and click the option and then click next. Here you will type in the password of the administrator for your domain controller. Type it in twice to confirm then click on next. This is a review screen to make sure you know what you're doing. At this point we're OK, click on next and Active Directory wizard will begin the removal process. Now this can take up to 30 minutes to an hour depending on your domain controller and how it is configured. So we've gone ahead and cut out a majority of this video. So it goes through, it stops the different services and deletes files, shuts down, shuts down different services, restarts services. It's basically all done by the wizard so there's no nothing you need to do at this stage. Now it shows the completed dialog saying we have successfully removed Active Directory from this computer. Go ahead and click on finish and then you'll want to just restart at this point. And once your computer restarts it will be a standard standalone computer no longer in the domain. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you and have a great day.